sweet spot. I'll do uh you have another panel cook? I'll just put these things on here and you guys say how many or whatever. I'll just get Yeah, but I'm gonna make comments too. Yeah, I'll make a comment. I throw a few sentences here and there. Hey, the idea, hey, okay. How are you? Yeah. 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 Lenchito, Lenchito, Lenchito. Okay, good afternoon, Amadeo, Alex. Well, it's a beautiful day to play soccer. What do you think? It's going to be a good, nice matchup between two different teams, two different styles. Rivera, a team that touches the ball a lot, plays a lot of possession against uh, Reagan, which is a team that counters and plays a kind of long ball. So it's going to be a nice, interesting match. Alex? I see about the same thing. The, uh, it's nice and nice and bright out. Uh, it's been some good competition today with the girls, and uh, I think we expect the same the same for the uh, with the guys here. Uh, we have uh, the second place team against the first place team, and uh, they look like they're, they're they're ready to go. Everybody's got their game faces on, and uh, let's get the ball going. What a beautiful scenario we have here at the Brownsville Sports Park, with practically the whole town and the valley supporting Rivera High School. I am uh, certainly sure that the crowd will play a big role in today's game. You know what, Amadeo, I'm, I'm really so happy to be alive just to witness such an amazing event. You, you, you still remember when we first started playing soccer here in Brownsville at the high school level, how many, how many uh, spectators did we have back in the stands? You still remember and, uh, compared to today. Look at, the look at the big crowd that we have here. You know what, Juan, it's, it's nice. Uh, I remember when we used to play, it was only my mom and probably the, the rest of the JV team. So it, this is something, it's an, an accomplishment. And uh, I'm, I'm glad Brownsville, the, the whole Brownsville is here, the whole community. And uh, it feels good. It feels good to have all the support. Um, we hope the best for Rivera. And um, it's such a, such a big accomplish, accomplishment, especially here in Brownsville, especially here at such a, an important and beautiful venue like the, the complex. So we're expecting good things. Alex? Yeah, just like Escalon just said, this, that not only has the uh, fan crowd has changed, um, in numbers, but uh, even the facilities out here, it's really, really nice. It's, it's good. We got uh, everybody joined in. Um, it looks like, wow, I don't know, the count uh, maybe in the thousands, maybe, two? maybe thousands. two. Yeah, two thousands. it looks like everybody's out here. So it's pretty much, it looks like everybody's, everybody's just waiting, you know, anxious to see a beautiful game out here and, uh, and everybody supporting our, our, our Rivera Raiders. And just to just to reiterate uh, what we said um, when we started, um, it's, it's been a long process. Uh, and one person we need to uh, thank a lot for this, for all this support, has to be Juan. And it's an honor to be here with Juan, uh, narrating this game. Uh, just just uh, being part of this, uh, this atmosphere, it's, it's, it's nice. This is Brownville Soccer. This is the state capital of soccer. Let's hear the Rivera crowd. 
as you can tell, just like America uh, versus Herediano, I, I am certainly sure that uh, the crowd will play a tremendous role in, in uh, Rivera's uh, victory today. You can see everybody so, so excited. There's no possible way Rivera's gonna lose this game with all this support. With the man, just with, with, the, with the match just about to start, it is incredible how much work we put in in the promotion and development of soccer. A sport many of us had a lot of faith that it was the sport of the future and the state soccer championships were in our reach, within our reach. In fact, we have two Brazil teams whose primary objective is to win it all. And of course, I'm talking about uh, Rivera. Unfortunately, uh, Porter, Porter just uh, got eliminated 1-0, but uh, uh, you know we're certainly uh, uh, proud of a uh, great season that the Porter Cowboys had. You know, with, uh, with the regional here in Brownsville, it, it took us a long time, it took us a long time to bring, it, to bring it back to the Valley. In fact, I would say maybe 28, 29 years before we even brought the regional tournament uh, to Brownsville. Uh, of course, we have to thank uh, our previous athletic director, Joe Rodriguez, and many other athletic directors from throughout the Valley. Amadeo, you've been here. You've been here in the in the state uh, uh, in in the regional uh, tournament. Uh, what what ideas can 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 you share about you know what went through your through your mind the the night before the night before the the tournament? We're thinking about raising our kids, uh, preparing them mentally. And also thinking about the weather, which is gonna, it's a factor right now. It's, it's hot, it's humid, and hopefully that can work for our advantage, for Rivera's advantage, since we're more, more accustomed to, to this kind of weather. Uh, so far it's been, it's, uh, it's been kind of 50-50, Rivera having possession, but also Reagan having some possession of the ball. So it's, uh, it's uh, as expected, uh, an interesting match. Alex. Uh, what what are the pros and the cons of uh, <laughs> of having the regional tournament here in Brownsville? As you well know, it took us a long time to bring it uh, down to the valley, but you know now that we're here, of course, with all the crowd, you know, supporting the local team, uh, it should be an advantage. What do you think? I think you said the correct thing there, coach. It was support. Okay, that's that's our advantage with the support. Um, you know, having the regionals down here, uh, the kids can actually appreciate and they, under, they know, um, you know, with all the support that they have from Brownsville, you know, and, and actually, you know, it's, it's the whole school district and the 32 6 a because uh, I see a lot of people from Los Fresnos out here, San Benito, everybody coming out to try to support uh, our 32 6 a uh, uh, winners. Um, it's, 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 it's been pretty good out here so far. Um, We've had one counter, one counter for Rivera, but other than that, uh, um, in possession, most of the uh, third of the, you know, middle third of the ball uh, of the field out here. You know, I talked to Salvador last night about, you know, hosting the regional tournament here, and, and of course he was so happy because, as you well know, before we used to travel, and, 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 and traveling, uh, believe it or not, wastes uh, your, your, your legs, wastes, wastes you uh, physically, uh, it kind of, it kind of, uh, it, it, you know, uh, Salvador was, was, was telling me that, uh, you know, playing here in, in, in Brownsville is, is much better because, of course, you get to sleep at home, you get to, to you know, eat much better and, and, and be more uh, restful. And, and uh, so, of course, that, that should be an advantage. But, but as you all know, you know, you guys uh, have tremendous experience in, in, in attending regional tournaments. And uh, uh, what were your experiences, you know, uh, traveling experiences and staying in hotels and waking up the following day, you know, to, to, uh, to play at the regional tournament? Well, 
Well, uh, traveling to San Antonio, it's it's like a two-way sword. It can work to your advantage or to your disadvantage. To your advantage because um, the players get motivated, motivated to uh, to travel out of town, to stay out of town, to stay in a hotel. That's a motivation in itself. Uh, the disadvantage would be uh, having to control those players. A lot of those players, uh, you kind of have to force them to go to bed. Um, and also, um, a lot of times, just being there, being uh, in the room, being nervous. So, yeah, it's like a two-way sword. To your advantage, to your disadvantage. And a shot from Rivera, and the keeper saves it. Shot from Chalin. Very good shot. This is on the second counterattack. Uh, San Antonio came rolling down that one side here on the left side. I couldn't get anything. Uh, Rivera just countered over there and took a nice shot, and we have control of the ball as far as now. Possession, possession, possession. Both teams looking very technical out here. It looks like San Antonio kicking out now. We got a throw in, another throw in from Rivera over on their third of the area on the right side. They're getting pretty close out here. Looks like uh, both teams' of confidence is raising because you can see them you know, already trying to take the ball on themselves against other players. And here we go, here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go with the score! Rivera is now leading with uh, five minutes into the game, five and 50 seconds. Uh, a goal is scored by Hernan Cruz. Goal by Hernan Cruz, a defender, which is something Rivera does very good. They attack from the back. Their defenders uh, usually follow the play, and this, this, this is what happened here. Hernan Cruz came from the back, untouched. Uh, he made like a, a, a feint that he was going to pass the ball, and he just took a straight shot, and it went in. Very beautiful goal. And here we go again. Here we go again. Rivera pressing again. And it looks like it's going to be a corner kick. Corner kick for Rivera. You know, for uh, the first seven minutes, it's it's been... It's been a well-fought game, and there comes Rivera again. Uh, they're, they usually put uh, two players uh, to start a play in the corner kick. <coughs> then, of course, they, they either, they either uh, send the ball to the near post and flick it to the far post. Fortunately, the, the play didn't work, but they got repossession. Now they have the red kick. Well, it looks like Chilin or the Sara Cero. And it's taken by Chilin. The red deflected, deflected. A corner kick. It was a very good shot defle by, deflected by one of the defenders. So now we have a corner kick. We were expecting uh, Reagan to be uh, more, have a little more height, but it's pretty much evenly. Pretty much evenly. So we. Um, I think Rivera has a good chance on set plays. And here we go, they're very good at it All these set plays, they work on them and work on them and work on them and drill them and drill them until we get them to perfection. Number eight clears it out of the ball, clears it out of the box. And we're gonna get a goal kick now. Rivera setting up, San Antonio setting back. And here we go again. Everybody in their positions getting their stats up. So far we've had three counters from Rivera and from those three we've had a goal on that one. A beautiful nice goal uh, from, yes, from Mr. Hernan over here taking people on there. 
Uh, confidence is rising on these kids here. There we go again. Ha ha. Two fouls. This is our third foul from Rivera. Oh, it's assuming they're going to take a shot out here from San Antonio for about 40 yards out. Everybody's sitting back, getting ready. Number 12. Who's that from number 12? Owen Tuttle. About to take this long shot here. Looks like he's ready. Oh, no, it's a set play. Oh, he kicks it on out. It's a goal kick for Rivera. We're at 30 minutes, 40 seconds out here. And uh, it's looking good. And believe it or not, this is actually the first time the kick, uh, the goalie has touched the ball in the whole match. So it's good for Rivera, good for Rivera. That means they're having possession of the ball. And that means the defense is working real good and real hard. And here we go. Throw in for Clark. That was a clear by um, Israel, one of the Cerro brothers. Israel is one of the best defenders, maybe not in, just in South, South Texas, but in the whole state of Texas. It's, he's a very, very good, uh, hard, tough defender. Very, goes very well on, on the air. And he's, uh, he's one of the pillars for the uh, Rivera defense. You know, it is by the understanding that San Antonio Reagan plays in, in a regular grass field. Uh, <coughs> so I don't know if, if the, the uh, turf field is affecting him some. As well, no, you know, uh, playing it uh, on, on a turf field and playing on a grass field, you know, has a lot of uh, differences. Uh, can you explain that a little bit more, Alex? Yeah, on the, uh, on the grass field, I think people here in the Valley feel a little bit more comfortable because it is grass. Um, also, the ball control. Um, you know, when you play on turf, the ball bounces really high, uh, the, the ball rolls really fast. Um, it's just going to be a really fast game out here. And, uh, and, and I think it is an advantage to our boys out here because, our, you know, our Bronzo boys, uh, uh, they love playing on this. They're, they're quick plays, one-two touches, you know, kind of a tiki-taka kind of, you know, playing out there, one-touch, two-touch. Um, so far right now, San Antonio's had a couple scares on, uh, on, uh, on our boys here. He's had a couple of them now. Here's the set play into our box again. Uh, see what happens from here. Everybody's setting up. Goalkeeper setting. Uh, the sweeper about to take that from about 50, 55 yards out. And there he goes. Nice ball. Uh, goal kick, and here we go again. Do we start? Yeah. Uh, yes. On that, uh, as I was saying, on the on the turf, you know, it, it's 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 a lot different because uh, when that ball is coming fast and it comes in a bounce, it it, it goes out with a flash. You know, whereas uh, on, on the grass, you know, it tends to uh, cushion it a little bit, slow it down some. Um, so there is a big difference. But uh, I think our Bronzo boys are ready, are ready. And uh, by this uh, or this score right now, yeah, it looks like they're yeah. they're coming out. And here we go. Here we go on another counter. And just to add on to what Alex said, playing on turf, it does make a difference. Um, so Paolo Rivera, number seven. Um, yeah, it's sometimes the ball takes a, a strange bounce when you're playing on turf. Not only that, um, if you're, you're not careful when you dribble, when you pass the ball. And here we go, it's a scare, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Very good save by the goalkeeper. Then it's short again. Go Acero, passes it back. And a switch. Taken by the captain. And right now, Reagan is re uh, pressing re the Rivera defense. They hadn't done it for uh, the first 20 minutes, but now they're pressing, pressing hard. But the defense is, is there. They've been there clearing every ball, covering every, 
every half of the field, and now we have a foul. Foul by Eliseo Ortiz, which, uh, yeah, yellow card. Let me see. They stopped the clock, so no. It's good for the ref to do that. It's good for the ref to do that. Just give him a warning, because it wasn't, it wasn't that bad of a foul. Just give him a warning. That's good. That's very good officiating right there. Yeah, so right now, the Rivera team seems to be in control uh, with keeping uh, ball possession more than, than the uh, Reagan team. San Antonio Reagan is trying to get to the Rivera's goal uh, with, with less than two to three touches. And of course, the Rivera defense is just uh, waiting for them there, uh, practically anticipating and, and, and reading the play and, and um, you know, stopping them from, from attacking or, or, or uh, sc scoring. You know, uh, the Rivera team is so used to, to scoring uh, early in the game. And the problem with, with the Rivera team sometimes is that they become dormant after, 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 after scoring. Hopefully it will not happen today because, of course, um, you know, they, they, they got the crowd behind them. They got the whole town behind them, the, you know, practically the whole valley. And, and this is going to help them. This is going to push them. This is going to motivate them. You know, this gives them uh, strength. They will not only play with their heart, but they're going to play with their life. And, and uh, they're used to, to, to playing here on the, on the third field, and, and they're not strangers to it. So, you know, they, they have the experience that is, that is needed to, to, to win this game. And, and uh, you know, uh, San Antonio is, is, is making the direct kick straight into, into the goal mouth. And, and Rivera, again, is, is being uh, very aggressive, you know, anticipating uh, to the ball, uh, beating him on 50-50s. On it, it just reminds me of of uh, Pace versus Porter where, you know, Pace played, played a, a tremendous game. Uh, defensively, you know, uh, they had a lot of the, uh, defensive uh, support, defensive compactness, defensive shiftness. Uh, you know, they, they played a tremendous game against Porter. It, it was unbelievable. Uh, their, their, dif their defensive... Uh, <coughs> and, and there comes the ball again! Into the, into the goal mouth, saved by the goalkeeper. Uh, from Reagan. It, it, as I was saying, uh, Pace played impressively. Okay, now the, the, the ball is stolen from from San Antonio Reagan as they were trying to build up. Uh, unfortunately, the shot was, was stopped by, the, by the, the goalkeeper, and there comes the goal! Elise! One of the three leading scores in the Rivera team scores again to make it 2-0. And the crowd goes wild. Just look at the crowd, just look at the crowd, look at the crowd, look how they're responding. How they're backing them up. You know, Rivera is, is a team with the virtual, with the virtual playing uh, uh, keep away or keeping ball possession like no one here in the Valley. Rivera is now moving the ball uh, down the sideline uh, and getting a corner kick out of the last play. That was a goal by Eliseo Ortiz, but actually, that was a very good play, very good assist by Alexis, Alexis Herrera, number 11. He fainted like he was going to shoot and then passed it to Eliseo, who was wide open, and just tapped it in from five yards out. So that was a very good uh, heads up by, by um, Alexis. Throw in Rivera.
throw in by number two, David Alexander. Senior, and here we go. Rivera is one of those teams that's, that's very well balanced. Um, he's very well balanced. They attack you in groups. They open up the spaces. They have their number 10, who is a playmaker. Chalin Martinez. Uh, I hate to be in, uh, in Clark's shoes defending Chalin. It's, it's tough. He's got so many moves and and once he hits an open space, he gets in front of you and he keeps on going. And that opens up a lot of, a lot of spaces for Alexis and for, for Eliseo. And also for, for the, um, the supporting players coming from the back. So defending Rivera, it's, it's a challenge in itself. Either you defend him in the back or you try to press him in the front, but e either or you're gonna leave some open spaces. And we have a yellow card on number seven, Eliasara Cero. With Reagan taking a shot from about 30 yards, 35 yards. Yeah, let me add on a little bit on that to that, uh, uh, the style of Rivera is out here. You know, it's, it's, it's mostly possession. You know, uh, that ball just came in and just on the possession, going in, one touch, two touch, uh, combination, combination play into the middle, diagonal ball, and, and there you go. Uh, they're, they're just well known for that. Uh, uh, coaches practicing for that, and uh, and they can show, they can see, you know, the talent that the kids have out here, you know, with, uh, with their combination plays and their one touch and moving the ball up at the same time. You know, it's just incredible. The kids are doing great. Uh, right now we're on attack, San Antonio. Oh. But uh, again, you know, it's just, it's just great. The, the crowd is loving it. The crowd is loving it to death out here. Uh, they see, they see, they see the future in their kids out here on the Brownsville kids. Um, again, there we go, coming out from the back, possession, 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 one touch, two touch, some combination plays, and uh, pretty much, you know, setting, setting each other up for another set play for each, so we can counter here. Well, here comes San Antonio. Here comes. That was a good attack by San Antonio all the way into the box. Handball, San Antonio, quickly, quick ball goes quickly by Rivera, pushing it up, Chalin opens up to the right side, and there we go again, all the way into the third. Alexis Herrera pushing it up up there. Next to the four, here we go, countering again. Possessing, possessing, possessing. One touch combinations out here, here we go again, here's on attack, we're inside the box again. We're inside the box. Good, good plays by San Antonio. Again, again, San Antonio just kind of ripping things out, trying to take some kind of control, trying to get some, some kind of possession out here. And there we go. Goalkeeper is going to probably uh, take this really long kick here. Get. Uh, Get the pressure out of the box, get the pressure out of this third, bring it out here. And here comes Rivera again, right back into the spot. Into the middle. San Antonio's out letting up though. Here comes again, into the box. Pushing it out, pushing it out, ooh. Almost set them in, here they come again. They're not giving up, they're not giving up. This 2-0 doesn't mean anything much to them here. They're doing their own little combination play. Rivera trying to take control. Ripping the ball out. Here comes another counter. The goalkeeper coming out about 30 yards. Ooh, good shot here to head it back. Somebody needs to get control, and uh, Rivera does again. Foul, head to the, kick to the head right here at the 50. Chelin looking for a yellow card, but uh, he's not gonna get that. And here we go, opens up to the outside. Back into the middle, little combination play, big control, combos, and here we go again on the attack. 
Here comes Rivera again, and, and the ball gets, gets uh, cleared out by one of the central defenders from San Antonio Reagan. You know, San Antonio Reagan is, is a very technical and, and, and fast team. You know, they're not giving up. Uh, they're down 2-0, to zero, but, you know, they're playing like if uh, they're 0-0. Zero, zero. And, and as you well know, in soccer, uh, a 2-0 is, is the most uh, deceiving uh, score. Well, the Raiders is all about patience. Patience, patience, patience. By touching the ball, by controlling the tempo, by pushing the ball forward or bringing it back, they open up the spaces. And it seems like every time some uh, player from Rivera has the ball, he has one or at least one or two options of whom to, to pass the ball to. And that's, that's very good soccer right there. That's very good coaching right there. You know, what is amazing about uh, Rivera is that they're very focused on their objective. Uh, uh, you still remember uh, last year, in fact, this is their, their, their third consecutive year being in regionals. And, uh, you know, last year, unfortunately, you know, uh, you, know you, uh, you, you defeated them in, in, in the regional finals. And, and uh, it, 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 it felt bad for them. It's like, a, like a, they have a wound to cure. And, 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 and they're here to, 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 you know, accomplish their goal, which is to, to go to state. And, and uh, you know, right now, even though they have the, the support of the crowd, you know, they have full concentration of what's going on in the field. Uh, they continue to play their game, uh, moving the ball around, outnumbering the opposition on, on the defensive side and, and on the uh, offensive side, uh, <coughs> moving the ball fast on them, uh, making San Antonio uh, players uh, run, and, and as you all know, a, a, a team, a team that keeps possession of the ball and, and, and makes the opposition run, it, it tires you mentally and physically. And, and uh, uh, Rivera has, has, has been uh, doing that uh, and, and, and by keeping possession of the ball and, and, and uh, getting the San Antonio Reagan players to, to chase them around, they, you know, they, they find the, the defensive uh, gaps uh, to attack and, and that's how they have been scoring their, their, uh, their two goals. And not only are they running, they're running, chasing the ball, running behind the ball, trying to catch up with the Rivera players, which is, it's uh, after a while, it, the players get tired. And with the community, with the, the sun, uh, after a few, a few of those runs, a player get, gets tired. So uh, Rivera needs to keep on doing this. Uh, they're, so far, they're doing, they've been doing a good job for the past 25 minutes. And as long as they do this, they, they're going to be all right. Again, yes, endurance has a big factor in this game here. And here we go again, Rivera attacking into the middle. Here comes Eliseo, turns it. Nice ball to the outside, and you know what? That's a third goal! here in Brownsville. And it seems like Eliseo returned the favor to Alexis. Um, on the second goal, Alexis gave the pass to Eliseo, assisted Eliseo on the goal. Now uh, Eliseo told him, you know what, thank you so much. Let me return that favor. Here you go. And Alexis just tapped it in for about 10 yards to, for a nice goal. So right now it's 3-0 with 15 minutes to go. Rivera is in control. And so far, things are running smoothly for Rivera. Yeah, things look good for our Bronzeville boys. Um, as long as uh, they stay healthy, I think we'll do really good in state. Uh, because I, 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 I mean, don't want to take anything from San Antonio, but uh, being down 3-0 to uh, a Rivera team, you know, that's, that's, that's kind of a challenge, a very, very big challenge. Um, our boys are up, they're getting some subs now. 
uh, which is, I think, it's a smart thing for coach to do, you know, to get some boys, to get them out there, to get uh, to, to give uh, the other boys more, you know, more experience on playing, and of course the rest of the other ones, so we can save some of the injuries out here. Three zero, I think we'll so we'll stick with that and let some of our kiddos come in. We're still attacking though. Rivera still pressuring up. Oh, San Antonio getting a little cute here. And they lose the ball. Good control, good girl. Possession. But yeah, again, you know, it's just incredible the way these kids are just moving this ball around. Uh, possessing it, uh, controlling it. You know, every ball has a direction, every ball has a purpose. And, and, and the kids, uh, the kids are, you know, enjoying it and loving it. And the people, the crowd is just out here just having fun. They know the Browns is going to keep it here. Again, here we go again. Good control, good control. Here comes San Antonio on the attack. Uh oh, uh oh, good. Good rip up by number eight. San Antonio or San Antonio with a throw in again. People from San Antonio are calling, trying to find out what the score is. Uh, again, Rivera is leading three to three to zero with uh, 30 minutes to go in the uh, first half. <coughs> you know, the Rivera uh, Raider team uh, came here to work, came here to fight for the win, uh, and, and they're doing it with class. Uh, all, you know, so soccer, in, in soccer, uh, all teams must uh, dominate four important factors. Uh, one of them is, is ball possession, but of course you're gonna have ball possession with a purpose, not just to keep ball possession. Um, and then goal scoring opportunities, or, or uh, to, to generate goal scoring opportunities, have created players that, uh, uh, you know, find the gaps in, in the opposing defense, uh, finishing, and of course when you don't have the ball, uh, to recover immediately. And these are the four factors that, you know, uh, Rivera has, has, has displayed in, in the first half. And playing from the back, one of the uh, Acero brothers. Again, when Rivera has the ball, they uh, each player has about one or two options. They move very well without the ball and with the ball. Here we go. The easy, the easy option right there. Playing it back, playing it safe, and keeping possession of the ball, which is the most important thing right now. Keep possession of the ball. Let the clock wind down. And again, make San Antonio players run behind the ball. Chase the ball. Get him tired. Foul by number two, David Alexander. And it's going to be a free kick. And the ball sails, uh, comes back to number 17. But then number 13 from Rivera, Hernan Cruz is there to clear it out. Throw in Clark. It's kind of um, interesting how when they have a throw in, they don't, they don't set their tall men to, to go and get some uh, header or, you know, a deflection on the ball. Yeah, Clark. It's a long throw in. Yeah. It's, uh, most of the defenders are sitting, uh, just sitting back there. So that's kind of interesting. Very unusual for a San Antonio team, especially like on, on a set play. Well, they did get themselves a, uh, a long throw in. And from that, they got a uh, foul here uh, right outside the box. 
Uh, let's see on the right side, on the left side. Uh, number seven, Colin Burris. Uh, it looks like he's going to take it. Asking the ref to get the wall up set up for him. Pushing players back. San Antonio really needs to get a goal in here to stay in this game here. And there we go. There's a nice shot uh, uh, to, to the outside. Uh, hit the hit the top. Hit the top. Didn't and actually hit the crossbar. Good shot though. Rivera making subs. Rivera making several subs. Um, the sun has come down some, so you know, uh, second half is going to be, you know, uh, if it was a little slower in this half right here, that second half is going to be really fast because these guys, these kids are going to come out with a lot of energy, um, and you know, they don't have to be facing the sun out here. Number four rips it out, goal kick, and we get another throw in for Rivera, up into, into the 50. Kazan's going to about to take it here. Good control of the ball. Rips it right back out. And now we're in the third. Uh, San Antonio's third. Oh. Goes to another throw in. Game slowed down some a little bit. Now that uh, Rivera's got pretty much control of the game. Um, they're going to probably just hold this tempo here. I mean, just keeping the 3-0 lead to them. We'll take it. Good defending by number uh, by number four here, um, Jesus Torres, just covering the player out and uh, pushing him out, and he himself gets out. They better get the goal kick, and here we go again. Coach bringing some of his uh, starters back into play. Uh, number 11, uh, Alexis Reyes coming back in. Chelin is coming back in. I guess they were uh, coming out for hydrating. Uh, because it was very hot and very humid, and uh, you don't want anybody to pull pulling any muscles, uh, getting injured, dehydrating, uh, any kind of that, any kind of uh, injury of, of sort. Yeah, you're not talking about energy, Alex. I, I honestly believe that they're getting all the all the energy from from the crowd. You know, I, I think uh, the oxygen that they need. It's, you know, the crowd is, is uh, giving it to them. And, and there's no, no possible way they're going to lose this game. Uh, they're, they're up 3-0. And they're very focused on, on, uh, on defeating this team. Um, you know, it, it has become a, a, a classical match uh, in, the, in the regional tournament, always having, you know, a Brownsville team and, and a San Antonio team. Um, it took us a while to beat them, but... You know, starting uh, 1990, you know, things started changing, uh, you know, uh, for us. And and, uh, and, uh, and and now we basically, we have basically dominated him dominated for, you know, since uh, 1990. Another foul on Eliseo, who uh, needs to be very careful. This is his uh, third foul. So a lot of times the referees, they'll let you slide once or twice, but after quite a few fouls, he's going to start uh, getting that yellow card. So Eliseo needs to be a little careful here. We, uh, he doesn't want to miss the next game because of cards. And it seems like Rivera, Rivera made a little tactical change here. They moved Alexis to the midfield, and they moved um, Acero to the other side of the defense. There's, uh, they must have seen something there on that side that didn't, they didn't like, so they're making adjustments. That's the name of the game, make adjustments on the goal. Don't wait till you go down 3-0 or 1-0. Make adjustments as, as you see them, as you see them fit, and that's uh, what Rivera's doing here. And again, it's working for them. One very good note is that, here we go, here we go on the attack, and throwing for Rivera. Uh, the Rivera, Rivera forwards, they're always 1-1. One, one, one. That's very, that's optional, that's, that's excellent. That's something you look forward as a, as a, as a forward. Very Most, dangerous as a that's keeper. very dangerous as a keeper too. Most of the times the forwards are 
one against two or one against four, de depending on your, your tactical uh, set. But this is a, uh, th this here is one on one most of the time. I guess uh, San Antonio Hart Clark is already pushing pushing their lines up to try to create something more on, on offense. And here we go, that's a nice play. It's also foul. Everyone count. Everyone count. The dangerous. Yeah, dangerous play. It's a bicycle kick at Chilena and in front of a defender. That's always going to be a, a dangerous play. That's a, an indirect free kick. Yeah, we got four minutes remaining. You know, you, you still got to give credit to the San Antonio team. You know, these guys are really fighting out here. Um, you know, just trying to do anything to try to get it. You know, they, they do have their counters. They do have their attacks. But, uh, you know, Rivera's just waiting every time. They're just one step ahead of him. Um, another foul, foul by San Antonio. Uh, and just a foul out of frustration, it looks like. Referee cautioning a San Antonio player for that. There was no need for that. And let's get the game started again. They better quickly maintain, maintain control of the ball, bring it back outside again. Possession, possession, possession. They got three minutes. I'll be holding it. They'll come back in. That should be a yellow now. That needs to be a yellow. I think the San Antonio team, Sam Cohen player number three got lucky on that one uh, because Eliseo was going off and he was headed for goal. The direct kick from uh, Chelin. Look at the set play, everybody lining up. Here comes Hernan through the outside here. Uh, his only purpose there was to take out a player, make sure they get a little bit more players inside. Here goes. Ah, uh, straight get in. Uh, not very good one, not very good one. More subs, more subs. You know, and, and, and Rivera's possession does not happen by coincidence. Every, everything is practiced on a daily basis. You know, throughout, throughout the entire week, you know, there's so many uh, passing combinations, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, tactical games in, in, in tight and reduced spaces. And, and so they can touch, uh, uh, you know, the ball conditionally with either one, two touches. And, and this is practice. This, this is not something that uh, just happens, you know. Um, and, and of course, you know, the, the coach, Salvador Garcia, uh, style of play has always been, you know, to try to, you know, keep the ball on the ground and, 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 and make the, the, the opposition uh, chase it by uh, changing the point of attack continuously, <coughs> uh, putting numbers around the ball, and, and, and that's why they, they come out of, the, uh, out of their back with, with so much ease. Uh, at, uh, at, at UTB, you know, uh, you know, two years ago, we had a, we had a, a, a team that, um, you know, uh, didn't keep too much control of the ball. Uh, and, 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 and then we decided to, to uh, <laughs> we decided to practice a lot, you know, try to emulate the, the you know, the, the style of play of, of Barcelona. And, and, I, and I had a girl, you know, Melissa, uh, Melissa Moreno from Harlingen, who used to struggle a lot, you know, uh, with accurate passing. Uh, she would make 10% accurate passes and, and uh, you know, throughout you know, uh, her three years at, at UTV, and, and the last year that I was there, she really wanted to play. Uh, so she talked to me, and I said, yes, of course you can play, you know, I want you to play. And, and she was kind of hesitant. And, you know, I said, you, you could develop into a good player. And she was, her confidence was a little bit low, but uh, she practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. And, and uh, you know, in, instead of making 10% accurate, accurate passing like she used to, uh, or like I evaluated her, uh, uh, she turned it around, uh, making 90% uh, accurate passing, um, and and this is this is uh, this is extraordinary. Uh, I will always remember Melissa Moreno because, you know, she struggled for three years, but then she developed into into a, a great player. In fact, she was she was uh, she became a central defender after being on on on, uh, on 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 the side, being an outside back. And this is what the Rivera team team does. You know, they drill and drill and drill and drill, and and, and don't give up. And, and as you can you can see, uh, you, you have four against two. They're always outnumbering uh, San Antonio Reagan. 
San Antonio Reagan is it's a little bit confused. They, they don't know what is going on, but, you know, in the, River, the Rivera team is, is, is uh, putting uh, numbers up uh, every, everywhere the ball is. And, and when they, every time they have a, a chance, uh, they, they switch the ball uh, from side to side, uh, forcing, forcing uh, the opposition to, to, uh, to get them off balance. Like right now, open up spaces on, on, on the back and, and exploit them quickly. Well, this is the end of the, of the first half, and it is Rivera 3 0. And listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. Okay, so this is the end of the first half. What is your analysis of, of, uh, of, of the first half, Amadeo? Yeah, uh, a few stats for the first half. We have um, the Rivera keeper with one save. San Antonio Clark with two saves from the goalkeeper. We have seven throw-ins for Rivera and four throw-ins for San Antonio Clark. We have uh, three corner kicks for Rivera, nine for San Antonio Clark. We have um, same number of free kicks for Rivera and for Clark, two and two. And fouls, we have quite a few fouls, quite a bit of fouls here. We have um, six fouls from Rivera and nine fouls from San Antonio Clark. One of those fouls uh, resulted in, in a yellow card for Rivera, a Rivera player. Also, we have uh, the score is 3-0. So, so that destroy that destroys your your, your game plan. You, you, you know, the, the kids get confused and, and to me it's much better if you continue uh, playing your style regardless of, of the score. Put pressure on them. Don't let them get to, to your uh, defensive third. Don't give them anything on the defensive third. You know, no throw-ins, no corner kicks, you know, <laughs> because they're, they're dangerous in the air. So, so far, uh, uh, the Rivera team has been doing that, besides uh, keeping possession of the ball, which is very important, and, and uh, you know, ma making the, the San Antonio Reagan players chase the ball. So now there's a, an opportunity with Alexis Herrera coming back for the ball. Alexis Herrera is the kind of player that that is, uh, in, in, in my personal opinion, a, 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 a player who off-balances uh, opposing defenses. You know, he opens so, much, so, much, so, so many gaps, and, and uh, he moves from side to, from side, to side, and, and he's, always, he's always looking to score. You know, that's a guy that is always there. Yeah, one good uh, thing that uh, we're seeing from Rivera is that they're back to the, the way they started. Uh, it's the same uh, formation they started with, all the players at the, their natural position, so that's good. That means they're gonna go out there and, and look for more goals, and that's the way it should be. Coach, well, don't you think that uh, San Antonio needs to change a little bit of their style? I'm surprised they haven't changed that. I'm surprised, to be honest with you. I would think San Antonio by now would have at least one more forward up top that would uh, push up the lines a, a little more, but they haven't, they haven't. That's surprising, and that's good for us. Yeah, that, that is, you know, uh, like, you know, when, when they do push, of course, it leads up holes. So um, yeah. it, it's 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 going to be it's going to be a challenge to see what the, what San Antonio is going to do here, because uh, they're going to need to change some kind of taxes. They're down three to zero. Yeah, they, they're not going to be able just to be holding the ball. And you know what? You probably have my same philosophy. It's the same losing by seven goals than by one goal. Right. Yeah. So just uh, go out there and, and try to score. Yeah. A win is a win. A win, a win is a win. Whether exactly. it's in penalty kicks or you win by 10. Yes, you sir. Know, you're going to leave with a, with a W. Yes, sir. And it, it's surprising that uh, we look at, at San Antonio Clark and look at the syrup. There's only one. That's a shot on goal. That's only one forward versus three defenders. Hey, that's going to be impossible. That's going to be impossible. No, no way they can score like this. But again, it's good for us, good for Rivera. Yeah, I agree, I agree, coach. I mean, uh, it looks like they're making some subs up, but uh, uh, that ball needs to be pushed up. I mean, you're gonna need to take some kind of you know, some kind of a, a risk up there to uh, uh, try to get that goal because, uh, you know, just sitting back, Rivera's just gonna love that. Uh-huh. Well, I think one, one change they, do, they did make, coach, was um, Put in an extra an extra midfielder right there in the middle of the field. Okay, I see it. I see it. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a good change. But then again, um, to me, you have to push up both lines, offensive lines, midfield. And here we go. Save, good save. Uh, one of the center players and a shot on goal. Oh. 
They there missed it. They missed it. Good, good. That's a good miss. San Antonio gets a free shot there. They should have taken advantage of that. Yeah. No, they're not going to yeah, get very many of those. Against Rivera, you, you have to take those opportunities. Because they're not going to give you more than one or twice, twice of those. So whenever they give it to you, take it. If not, they're going to score on you. for San Antonio. And here we go. Possession, possession, possession. That's the name of the game. A little misunderstanding there between Alexis and Julian Espinosa. But one, one good thing about Alexis is that he makes some mistakes a mistake and then he goes and, and tries to make up for it. I mean, he's gonna go 100% the whole time. That's, he's one of those players that never, never stops running. That's, that's, that's good for him. Rivera playing some good balls, some nice possession, uh, trying to make the players come out at them, just to come out of that box. There goes Eliseo for one. That goalkeeper's coming out of the box. It's about the third time he comes out of that box. And they're mixing it up, Coach. They're mixing it up. Yeah. Not, not only are they playing a short possession, but when they have to, like on this, this situation, this, this occasion here, they played a long ball to Eliseo, who was one on one again versus the defender. And uh, a player like Eliseo, you can't, you can't leave him one on one. He's gonna, he's gonna make something with the ball. Yeah, that's why it's gonna be difficult for uh, San Antonio to push up players because. If you do that, you're going to leave yeah. one open. Yeah, Riv back. Rivera has so many weapons, so many offensive weapons. Here, here we go, up. and a header right at the goal's hand, goalie's hand. But uh, that's th those are the chances that San Antonio's got to take. You know, if, yeah. if they want to be, if they want to compete, uh, if they want a piece of that, uh, uh, you know, that regional title there. Yeah, they're, they're going to they're, they're gonna have to leave uh, spaces back there. Yep. But I don't know, leaving leaving uh, Eliseo one on one, leaving. Uh, Alexis Herrera one on one. That's that's very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, to me, that's very, very dangerous. Uh, but then again, you you have to take those chances, right? Uh, one of those few mistakes by by Chelin. That's uh, that's not typical, but uh, one of those few mistakes he's gonna make throughout the game. I'll throw in. I'm watching the Rivera team, and, and it, it is like like if I'm uh, watching a, a uh, you know Barcelona team playing with uh, Danny Alves on, on on the outside back, uh, you know a, a, a Gerard Piqué in, in in the middle with uh, uh, <coughs> Macherano and, and, and Matteo uh, Matthew, I'm sorry, and uh, you know with 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 his outside back with his outside backs, you know uh, pushing up, attacking when there's an opportunity like like Jordi Alba. And and then having you know uh, Chelin like like a real Messi conducting the you know the the whole attack and and then up up top you know you have like like a Luis Suarez a, a, a Neymar and and, um, and and there they come again sorry um, then then you also have an Iniesta there you know try try trying to you know uh, create goal scoring opportunities this is this is a team that. That compares to that uh, style of play, uh, it, it it is amazing. It is amazing how these kids are playing. But you know, again, Salvador has done a tremendous uh, uh, job with this team, and and he doesn't have it by coincidence. You know, he has to, to uh, uh, teach uh, t teach him the basics of, of uh, you know whether it is defending, attacking, uh, you name it. You know, he invests a lot of time uh, and works with humility uh, and with dedication to. To, to improve his his uh, team and, and and there you see like I was telling you like uh, like uh, uh, you know a, a player like Jordi Alba uh, <coughs> you know attacking attacking out of the back uh, 
number 13 is, is Hernan Cruz, uh, the uh, left left midfielder. Uh, and, 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 and this is this is what uh, uh, you know the Rivera the Rivera teams have have uh, al always done uh, attacking attacking with with their outside backs uh, just just like 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 in modern days. Again, uh, one of those rare opportunities by Rivera. Uh, probably just uh, loss of concentration there, and it's a free kick for San Antonio. And again, they better take advantage of this. Rivera's not going to give you a lot of those. Rivera's one of those teams that's, that's very well balanced, defensively, defensively and offensively. So let's see what San Antonio does here. It seems to be like a direct shot to the goal, and it was a low shot. But hit the wall right there. Here we go. Building from the back. Moving the ball from side to side to the open spaces. And again, Alexis is going to go fight for every ball. Every ball. Whether he has a chance for it or not, he's going to go fight for it. What is impressive uh, with uh, Rivera, uh, especially when, when they find the open spaces, he said they will get to the opponent's half with with uh, at least you know four passes. They they cross they they cross the, their their midfield line by by the second or third pass, and they're already almost uh, scoring there. You know, uh, in in the opposing uh, goal by the fourth or fifth touch. Uh, every time they find those gaps, they're going to attack them, and 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 that's what's good about you know their style of play. I think. Uh so now the 10 minutes, it looks like uh, Rivera's just kind of playing uh, um, San Antonio into their hands a little bit. Playing into their hands a little bit, just kind of possessing the ball in the back, making them come out, and then sending a long ball. I think they're going to be comfortable with that uh, uh, for the next 30 minutes because uh, they're, they're ahead 3-0, so they don't need to really be uh, pushing their players up that, uh, uh, that hard uh, the way uh, San Antonio really does. And that's why they keep moving the ball, they keep moving the ball, and then they'll just push it all the way back to just push players out, and then they'll just throw in that counter. But uh, San Antonio looks like they're doing pretty good out here, but uh, still, I mean, you still got to get that going. Here we go on the counter again. This is what we're talking about. Goal keeper coming out again out of the box. Good control by San Antonio. Bringing the ball out, finding open space, getting into the window. And that's as far as it can go because Rivera's got a wall back there. They're not going to be able to go through that unless uh, uh, you get somebody who's going to want to try and dribble through that. And there they go again. Here goes on the, on the counter. Defender coming out from the outside. He gets rewarded with the ball. Does a little nicks and tricks. He gets himself into the box. Herrera gets the ball. Oh, gives it back to the gives it back to the defender. Oh, good job! He gets a corner kick from it. Good job. Good stuff. Good, good quality ball here by by uh, uh, the Raiders. You know, uh, the San Antonio Reagan team is it's so, so eager to score because they're down on on on, on the score, uh, three to zero uh, with 28 minutes left in the game. Of course, they need they need to score if they want to stay in the game. Uh, by doing that, of course. You know, uh, they attack, and, and when they get into the uh, uh, Rivera's uh, half, you know, Rivera waits for them uh, intelligently, and 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 uh, you know, wait wait for them to to make a mistake, read the play, take the ball away from them, and quickly counter attack them. And 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 here comes a set play from from uh, Rivera, the usual set play they have done for years. And now the ball maybe uh, going to the four post. There it is, and uh, there's a chance to score again. But the ball gets cleared by, by San Antonio uh, Reagan defender. Two yellow cards, two yellow cards. Two yellow cards out here, um, trying to look a bit more physical. The, the uh, San Antonio player trying to cover the ball so he can come out, and the uh, 
Um, the, the Raider player just get a little too physical out there and uh, uh, just kind of a little one-one song. It was uh, Alfredo Villarreal from uh, Rivera gets the yellow card. Um, you know, these kids are going all out. They're going all out. And so was uh, number 13, Diego Celis. Uh, Andres Flores is, is the, the culprit of the foul there, of the yellow card. Uh-oh. This is what we're trying to get here, you know. Um, you know, we're trying to save the kids. There's another yellow card by, uh, by San Antonio, getting frustrated. Um, and uh, I guess trying to take it on, on the kids now. But uh, um, I'm sure uh, Salvador over here uh, is, is going to start to make some subs here so he can save his kids for tomorrow's game. Yeah, I think I would, I would wait a little longer, Coach. I yeah. think I would wait at least 10 more minutes before I do that. Uh, right now, San Antonio seems to have balanced a, a bit uh, uh, the, the play here, the possession of the ball. And it seems like they're moving the, the lines up right now. It seems like um, they're going to try to press uh, Rivera. And one thing that Rivera did right now is uh, they moved Chelin back because the Rivera coaches saw that Eliseo and... and Eliseo and Alexis are one on one, and and Chalene plays plays those uh, places those uh, those long balls like as if he were throwing it with the with the hands. He's got that a special touch. So again, that's a, a tactical move on the Rivera coaches, which is it's it's working. Here we go. There we go. To space. Here we go. If San Antonio wants to come back, they need to score right now. If not, game's pretty much over. It's very hard for them to score, or for any team to score three goals in less than 20 minutes. So if they have a, they want to have a chance at, at advancing or scoring a goal or uh, trying to beat Rivera, it has to be, it has to be right now. Here, here comes the counter by Chalin. Here we go. Nice move, and a shot of goal deflected by. Um, one of the no by Alex Alexis it was deflected by deflected by Alexis Herrera so it's it's a goal kick by San Antonio Clark. The last two games uh, Rivera has struggled struggled tremendously with with uh, with the weather with the climate with the humidity. Oh, there's a wall pass. And almost, almost a goal, almost a goal by Liceo again. And again, the uh, assisting on that play was Alexis Herrera. Uh, as I was saying, you know, Rivera struggled in the last uh, two games. Uh, the, the, the weather had a lot to do, to do with it, especially in, in Laredo, where they could uh, barely breathe, but, you know, they didn't give up. You know, their objective has always been to, to go to state, and but not just go to state, but, but win state. This is, this is the kind of objectives our, our uh, boys uh, and girls soccer teams uh, have in their minds. They're, they're not happy with just winning a, 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 you know, a district championship. Not that, you know, uh, they're not happy with it, but they have, they have bigger goals. Uh, having these two, two difficult games on the road for, for Rivera against one of the Laredo teams and then uh, La, La Jolla, uh, Juarez Lincoln uh, has really strengthened, you know, their, 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 their spirit, their heart and, and uh, you know, they, they, have, they have really, you know, that really helped them, you know, uh, get more experience uh, to play in this game. Um, Rivera's, Rivera's is very, very uh, balanced as of right now. Uh, early in the season, they were struggling with, with uh, their line distance. But, uh, you know, Salvador Garcia is a very smart coach uh, who, 
you know, ask questions whenever, whenever he, he uh, feels that, you know, he needs advice. He's a very humble, humble man. And, and uh, he, listen, he listens to, to, to people with, with experience. Uh, somehow, you know, many of us have helped them. Uh, uh, we have given them advice. And, and uh, you know, he has, he, he has improved his team tremendously. Uh, but again, you know, he, he sees these things first and, and he asks us for a second opinion to find out if, he, if he's uh, right or, or if he's wrong. Uh, but he listens, and, and that's what, what's good about him. Corner kick and set play for Rivera. Far post, and the goal is there. Clark is trying to put, push the ball up, but again, every time a player from Clark has a the ball, there's no either no space or or two Rivera defenders are already next to him. Here we go. This Rivera steals the ball again, and they push up. And again, every time they have the, Rivera has the ball, they have one or two options open all the time, all the time. Make those San Antonio players run. And that's another thing they do very well. Uh, Rivera takes advantage of whatever you give him. They don't always have to touch the ball uh, uh, on the defensive third or, or midfield. They can place, place those long balls, especially when the, the forwards are one-on-one -on -one against the defenders, as in this case. And, and that's uh, because San, San Antonio is pushing up the lines and they're leaving three defenders against two against two forwards and here we go one on one or two versus one either way it's it's a tough situation for uh, for San Antonio Clark right now here comes a cross uh, San Antonio Reagan attackers but the ball uh, gets cleared and and kicked out of bounds it's going to be a throw-in for San Antonio Reagan. That's a, is it a throw-in? No, it's a corner kick. Here comes the cross. Here comes the corner kick. The ball is in the air. And it gets cleared by... by Rivera Defender. The ball got cleared by Jesus Torres. <coughs> um, right now, I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate uh, the Pace boys and girls for making the playoffs, uh, and the, the Pace boys uh, specifically for, for playing a, a spectacular game against uh, Porter in the regional quarterfinal. Uh, you know, it, it was it was a tremendous uh, tremendous event uh, being witnessed at, at same stadium where. It, it, you know, pe people, people thought, people thought that, hey, there's a football game going on, uh, but um, <coughs> you know, it, it, it was, it, it was Porter versus Pace. Pace played a, 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 a very, very, very intelligent game. Um, Porter advanced to regionals, but unfortunately, you know, they, they, they lost, they lost to, um, uh, to Georgetown, uh, one to zero. Georgetown was it Georgetown? Yeah, they lost one zero. Uh, uh, also, uh, Los Frenos, you know, Lo Los Frenos qualified to the regional final. Uh, these girls have been, you know, uh, fighting hard, staying together like, like true sisters, believing in each other, and, and they have represented our area uh, real well, so we're very proud of them. Uh, the Lopez boys and girls, of course, they also, they also made the playoffs. And uh, congratulations to them. Congratulations to Hannah High School as, as, as well, both uh, the boys and the girls, uh, for keeping their, their uh, winning tradition alive. Uh, and and, and uh, Brownsville has a, 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 a new program that is, that is, uh, uh, is in charge of uh, Albert Vasquez. 
uh, Albert Vasquez knows what uh, soccer is all about, understands, you know, how the game should be played. And even though he's got an, a, a, a team of, of uh, mostly underclassmen, you know, those kids are not, are not afraid to, to, to keep possession of the ball, to, you know, they, they don't kick the ball around. They don't kick the ball around. Uh, they play true soccer and, and, uh, and, and, and they don't give up. They, they have a tremendous heart. Uh, my, my head's off to them. I saw them play against uh, La Jolla Juarez Lincoln, uh, and they lost in, in penalty kicks. Uh, La Jolla Juarez Lincoln was defeated by Rivera on penalty kicks. So uh, that uh, automatically uh, says a lot about, uh, about the program. Here comes Rivera. Uh, there's a chance to score. No, no, no goal, no goal, no goal. It hit. It hit the net on, on, on the outside of, of the near post. So even though it seemed like a goal, no, it wasn't a goal. So congratulations to all these teams that uh, were in the playoffs. We're very proud of you. Uh, OK, so uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Congratulations to, to all these teams. We're, we're very proud of you. That was a shot on goal by Israel Acero. Again, in my opinion, Israel Acero is one of the best defenders on state. And honestly, I think he's probably one of those uh, defenders that should be a forward. Or maybe when he was a little kid, he was a forward. But give him the ball, he knows what to do with it. And this is why, again, he's one of the best defenders uh, in the state of Texas right now. And we're gonna go. We're gonna see more of him. It's not the last time he's gonna take a shot on, uh, on goal. Good save by the keeper. Here we go. Counter. Counter by Rivera. On the right side. One on one. On one again. Here we go. Shot on goal and sails up high. That's a good opportunity. Yeah, as coach was mentioning that uh, that that defender number uh, number five. What was his name, coach? Israel Acero. It's Israel Acero. You know, he he kind of gives you a comparison to that uh, uh, to the Brazilian uh, defender. Which one? Da Marcelo. David. No, I was, I was going more with Marcelo. He did Marcelo because he runs down the line, right? Yes. I, I'm going more with the looks, coach. Oh, he's got the upper. He's got the upper, you know, just like. But uh, yeah, the, the the kid, you know, he's David he's Luis? David Luis. David Luis. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, um, you know, I think he's one of the most expensive uh, defenders over here in the world. And that and that, and that kid. Yeah. Eliseo, Eliseo Ortiz. Yeah, Eliseo Ortiz, almost uh, taking on the keeper himself there, uh, chipping it in. We got a corner kick now. Uh, 14 minutes to go. Um, I think, uh, you know, I think uh, it looks like San Antonio is already just kind of uh, waiting for the time to, you know, to, to end. But Rivera's still hungry out there. They're still wanting something. They're wanting to please their people, wanting to show their crowd out here. Rivera has to stay hungry. Rivera has to stay hungry. It's, it's like like a shark in, uh, uh, smelling blood in the water. Yeah. They have to go score more goals. They have to. It's one of those must must situations. I mean. Put yourself in, uh, in San Antonio's shoes. What would they do to us? They would score more goals. Yeah. So we need to score more goals from them. And then they sure are doing that. They're on the attack. They're on the attack. They're just, you know, these. these uh, uh, not, now the possession isn't on the uh, on the defending third. Now it's on the attacking third, where Rivera is just kind of controlling the ball. And, uh, and yeah, it's unforcing defender just to kick it out of bounds. You know, just trying to save themselves for dear life here. Um, opportunity at a, at a corner kick which again Rivera works on them very well they're very efficient on those they have a lot of set plays uh, and um, San Antonio is not that tall they, they don't have that tall of a team except for the goalie uh, they're pretty much even with, uh, with the, uh, Rivera so Rivera has pretty good chances on set, on set plays yeah and uh, like we had mentioned earlier in the game we thought maybe that uh, um, San Antonio would would change the style of play but uh, 30 minutes have passed by and uh, it's still the same and actually now I think that they're just uh, uh, trying to trying to keep that 3-0 and not uh, uh, lose by a 4 or 5-0. So um, 
Or six, I don't know, it could, could go on. Here's another one by, Ch who is this, Chilin? Taking a shot, yes, keeper gets it, and here we go right back out. Um, I don't know. Just looking at the stats here, um, Rivera already has six shots on goal, and they're the winning team. San Antonio Clark, they're losing, they've only had one shot on goal. But again, then again, let's give a lot of credit to the Rivera defense. They're stepping the ground over there, they're not giving up any inches. Um, the sole shot on goal was a little miscommunication error right there. But um, Rivera, the, the, the Rivera defense has to have, has had a good a good game so far. Yeah, and it looks like the uh, the San Antonio uh, offense isn't really isn't pressuring anymore. Uh, they were just moving it up, and the guys are just doing as as will now. And here comes another one. So Mr. Herrera pushing the ball around, Eliseo pushing it back. Chilin getting some pressure, crossing it back to the other side to uh, Acero. to Acero. But David Luis there look alike. Yeah, changing the cross. And there we go again. Keeper ball. You know, just to say that, uh, you know, we sound maybe, we may sound a little bit biased uh, towards the uh, Rivera team or the Bronzo team, but, uh, you know, I, I have a brother on the other side. He's the uh, Salvador's assistant, and, uh, and Salvador Garcia played, you know, uh, with us uh, during our high school years. So, you know, all the support out to him, you know, all the respect and hats off to him and, uh, and his coaching crew out there because uh, they're doing a tremendous job with these kids, and uh, these kids are responding by, uh, by showing, you know, uh, by showing them the goals. By showing them the goals and getting the wins and and uh, and like Coach Garcia said, you know, these kids don't just want to go to state. They don't want to go visit. You know, they want to win the whole thing. They want to show that uh, Brownsville has the best team in Texas. And you know, and 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 God willing, you know, maybe we can get uh, something national for the kids to go out. And here they go again, Rivera on a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, crosses it out. That to me, that to me should have been an assist. That to me should have, he should have crossed that ball. I mean, he didn't have much, much of an angle to take that shot. But then again, um, it's tough when you're out there, you're the the forward, and you're one on one with the goalie. You want to score against him. So um, it's one of those situations. So here we go. Here we go. Corner kick by Rivera. Set play. It goes back to Alexis, who probably is going to cross the ball, and cleared by one of the defenders in another corner kick. Good shot, it just sailed a little bit too high. Still, you know, you can't get away from uh, from from the crowd out here that uh, that they have. You know, it's just wow. You can see all the Brownsville here about 2,800 and the uh, close three, uh, yeah, close to three here and. Uh, San Antonio just kind of watching them, watching the crowd, <laughs> watching the crowd enjoying themselves. And, and again, for a long time, it used to be the opposite. We used to go to San Antonio and they would do that to us. Yes. So now it's payback. Now it's a little bit of payback, right? So, yeah. and it feels good. <laughs> and that's the advantage of playing here in Brownsville. <laughs> yes, yes, the advantage of playing at, uh, in town. Um, one, of the, one of the other things we uh, haven't said anything about, but let's, let's just uh, throw it out there is uh, the official. Um, when the referee has blown the whistle very little times, again another shot and sells wide right. Uh, it, it's been so far. It's been a good good officiating. Yes, I agree. Because um, we've only had well, quite a, not a few, but some uh, some uh, yellow cards. But but the referee. The referee has uh, most of the times he's, uh, he uh, he goes in and talks to the players. He tells the players to relax and to keep on playing, and which is, to me, is very good officiating here. Um, I think I think the refs are doing a a, a great job out here uh, because you know he has they, they has kept the game under control. There's been a couple times where uh, some of the players have gotten a little rough with each other, 
uh, but uh, he's managed to control them and uh, he, he's got a nice clean game. Everybody's nice and healthy. You know, so it's a good win. It's a good win, and I think it's a good game for both, uh, for both the teams because uh, you know, uh, San Antonio they're going to need to, you know, to somehow, you know, try to beat one of these Brownsville teams, and, uh, and you know, you don't get any better than playing a, 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 a Rivera out here. So you know, it's it's it, it's great for them. It's great for them. It's a real challenge for them. And Juan can have uh, can tell you some anecdotes from when we used to go play, and especially. Uh, referee and, and the officials and all that <laughs> right Juan? yeah you know yeah we have a lot of experiences uh, from the early years you know we had so many obstacles to overcome but we would always uh you know fight with them toe to toe and and, and yes now they they feel the pressure of our crowd just like you know uh, when Herediano uh, from costa rica defeated america in in, in costa rica three to zero when they came to mexico the crowd was uh, uh what play play plays role and and uh you know america beat herediano uh six uh, uh zero advancing advancing to the to the to the final game uh, of the uh, conca champions um you know i i i see the the san antonio reagan players you know attacking in desperation trying to trying to score a goal but uh rivera's defensive compactness has uh, you know, uh, stopped them from from even penetrating their their defensive line, uh, and 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 now uh, Rivera is finding finding more more uh, uh, spaces on the back because uh, the San Antonio Reagan uh, forwards are, are staying up top and, and they're not making a, a an offensive uh, uh, defensive quick transition. Uh, Rivera is still keeping the pressure. Uh, they know that it is not over un until the game is over, even though there is it is still seven minutes in the game. And and to me, you know, uh, from uh, our experience of playing the San Antonio teams, we know that they're not giving up. Uh, you know, they're gonna make us sweat. Uh, they're gonna make us earn our victory. And and this is what the uh, San Antonio team is doing. They're playing like if they, like if it is uh, still a zero-zero game, but. Uh, Knowing, knowing, knowing that they're uh, down three to zero and, and, and still attacking, and then there's a goal! Goal! Christian! Rica from San Antonio Reagan. So I was telling you, San Antonio is not giving up. Even though three, they're, they're, they're down, they were down 3-0, they were, they were not giving up. They were playing like they're 0-0, zero, zero, and, and they're still playing uh, plenty of time. A lot of things can, have, can happen at any given moment. This, this is soccer, and, and, and uh, when, when kids play with their heart, play in desperation, even though they leave spaces behind, you know, uh, the, the the team that is that is up in the score has to protect its goal no matter what. They have to continue uh, st staying compacted. They, uh, Rivera still needs need, needs to continue pressing. Rivera still needs needs to continue winning the ball, putting numbers up around the ball, keeping the ball the ball away from them because otherwise they're gonna be in trouble. If if they relax, uh, San Antonio is, is is going to come down to come back on on them. And and uh, there's still time. There's still time. Uh, right now they were they were in in Rivera's uh, uh, defensive third, and that's kind of dangerous. Uh, uh, San Antonio Reagan is 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 gonna do whatever it takes to try to score more goals. But there's still plenty of time. There's still plenty of time. Five minutes, five minutes is a lot of time. When when you're uh, uh, coaching high school soccer, just a minute. It thinks that you think that it is like like uh, uh, 24 hours, you know it's it's, it's long, it's, it's very difficult. The, the five minutes uh, that are remaining in in, in the clock, it's uh, five eternal minutes. What do you think, Mario? Yes, sir. And if I were Rivera, I would just uh, shield the ball or, like in that case, go go to their goal. Try to stay on San Antonio's half of the field as much as possible. Um, you know, just kill their momentum. 
Change the rhythm, kill the momentum. There you go, here we go. Pass the ball back, keep possession. And B, B, here we go, here we go. Exactly, kill time, kill time, pass the ball, keep possession. That's the name of the game right now. The last four minutes and a half, it's just about being, being patient and again, keeping possession of the ball. And they created a, a corner kick, which is good. It's so again, it's on the half of the field. Keep it there. Keep the ball there. Don't give San Antonio any chances. Not this later in the game, and especially after they they have scored a goal. And again, take your time. There's no rush. There's no rush on the corner kicks. No rush on free kicks. There's no rush at all. Take your time. Take your time and kill some of that time. Well, it looks like Rivera's just trying to control the ball now. Just trying to hold it, uh, uh, trying to keep it at that corner over there. Trying to uh, burn that time. He got three minutes left. Uh, but there we go again. San Antonio not giving up. Still pushing that ball up there. And, uh, and of course, it's like, uh, just like Coach Scalona was talking about earlier, you know, when they start pushing those players up, they start leaving those gaps in the back. And uh, this is where Rivera's just kind of uh, walking in now. And there we go, here's our, oh! Almost get a fourth goal in there. Uh, three minutes to go, three minutes to go. Crowd's starting to leave, crowd's starting to leave. But uh, again, yeah, uh, I, thought it was, I thought it was good officiating, good officiating by both, uh, uh, by all three of them. And uh, and the game's about to end now. We got two minutes. Just a little of an observation. I I, I think that uh, Rivera somehow is getting off balance. They they need to keep the lines uh, a little bit closer uh, so they can recover the ball quickly. Uh, somehow the the Rivera forwards uh, after after they finish attacking, they they're not they're not making the uh, offensive uh, defensive transition. Uh, li like it is needed. They have to make a quick offensive defensive transition so that they can help so they can help their, their, their midfielders. The uh, Rivera, Rivera defenders need to start moving up, need to start moving up a little to, to uh, help uh, the, uh, their own midfielders recover the ball promptly. Yep, with two minutes and 30 seconds left, just a few words uh, for all teams visiting in Brownsville. Welcome to the state capital of soccer. Yes, yes, we want to say that uh, uh, because we do have some beautiful soccer here now. Uh, uh, so, so, you know, I, I coach the girls now and uh, and now some of the Valley players, is, you know, we're going into the final tour of the regionals as well. So uh, it's great to see this. It's great to see all this uh, ambience out here with all these people. Everybody just lining up on the fence waiting to... Uh, um, to touch and, and uh, high five their their Brownsville teams out here, and, and I'm not just talking about uh, Jeff Rivera players, but we have uh, players, uh, schools, and you know uh, thousands of people out here watching this uh, watching this game out here. And uh, great stuff by the kids, great stuff by the kids, great stuff by the coaches, uh, great stuff by Brownsville itself. You know, uh, Coach Guest has done a real hell of a job with with, uh, with with you know putting this together, and uh, and and you can see how much of a success it is. You can see how much of a success it is. Uh, Coach Guess, my hat um, off to him. He's done a tremendous job, not only hosting the uh, the tournament, but um, oh, a shot uh, on goal right there by Alexis Herrera. Not only by uh, hosting the tournament, but uh, making sure everything comes out smoothly, and it, and it has. Um, again, he's, he's one of those uh, administrators who supports every sport, but uh, on a personal note, I know, I know he cares for all kids. I, I've seen it personally. And um, um, just a, a big shout out to him and, and uh, keep up the good, good work. I guess we're gonna hear some uh, comments from the Rivera crowd. How do you feel about being a Rivera student? Anybody here? Awesome school. Rivera is and the best school ever! We're 
undefeated and that's awesome. And, and you listen to some comments of the uh, Rivera student uh, population. Uh, for a minute, I, you know, it seemed like number seven from San Antonio Reagan uh, stopped the, the, the ball with his hands, but the referee didn't see it or, or he let it go. Uh, well, now the game is over and Rivera wins 3 to 0. And here the roar of the crowd. Yay, Rivera! I'm going to give you the final uh, stats. Final stats, uh, uh, Rivera shots on goal, 10, it looks 5, 10, 16 to uh, San Antonio's 2. Uh, saves, uh, Rivera had 2 saves. Uh, Throw-ins, Rivera has 3 throw-ins, San Antonio um, had 3 as well. Corner kicks, Rivera looks like I have 7, San Antonio at 2. Free kicks, 1-1, uh, one and one. Uh, fouls. Uh, many, but uh, yellow cards, two yellow cards for Rivera, and uh, one for uh, uh, San Antonio. So all in all, it was a nice, clean game. It was good, uh, a competitive game.